All right, here's how to fix the MSI Gaming X Trio on mining Ethereum. Um, if you were lucky enough to get a 3080, but it happened to be a Gaming X Trio, you might have noticed that when mining Ethereum, the core clock is very unstable. So I was able to fix that and get about 100 mega hash um, out of the Gaming X Trio with just doing a few things. And here is how to do it. So I first ran into this issue pretty much right after I even attempted to mine anything with the Gaming X Trio, or specifically anything on um, Ethash. After the DAG was built, the core clock would just shoot down like crazy, and um, it would get roughly like 86 to 87 mega hash, which is quite horrible. And after <laughs> almost two months of um, trying to figure this out, we finally found a solution. Um, we first thought it was a memory thermal throttling, but when looking at hardware info, it showed that it was actually a power performance limitation, not a thermal throttle. And I verified that with an actual thermometer, putting it like right next to a memory module. And the thermal pads and the memory temperatures are fine on Ethereum on the Gaming X Trio, but it actually turns out that the problem is the BIOS itself and its power delivery limitation. Um, for whatever reason, the BIOS, the MSI Gaming X Trio BIOS limits CUDA at 210 watts, which turns out it's not significantly enough to have a stable like mine at all it just crashes so what you need to do is you need to download the supreme x bios the most recent one and flash it onto the gaming x trio to bypass this issue as the supreme x will allow you to give it much more power than the gaming x trio bios um i'm not going to go over this there's plenty of tutorials on flashing i'll post one in the description so once you have the um supreme x bios loaded onto it you will find that you can move the power way past the gaming extra one um so for me i did these settings for mining ethereum so power limit 110 don't worry about this because we have it locked in the curve um, i'll show you that in a sec so the temp limit for 110 was like something crazy like 100 degrees so i brought it down to 70 because i don't ever want it to get higher than that so the most important part here and the problem that causes um all the issues with mining ethereum is in the core if it if the core goes below 1100 you'll basically just start losing tons of mega hash and it's bad. So to edit this, you press control F. Um, here's roughly the stock core curve, um, which is not stable. So what you'll want to do is, you know, it'll be like something up here. Um, so you'll want to alt click to drag the whole curve down and bring it just barely over 1100. I found for me 1125 was the most stable. Um, <laughs> having issues getting it to there now, but somewhere around there, just as long as it's over 1100 and at 700, you can lock it at any voltage by pressing Control L and after clicking on something. So Control L, this yellow line you see, it moves it over here. You just want it here, Control L, and make sure you press the check mark after you do this. Um, and yeah, you should be good to go on the core. Whoops. And it will now show curve. That's what you want it to say. Um, memory clock, you'll want to start around like 500 or so. This is just your standard overclocking. I found, um, I may have just had bad luck in the silicon lottery. I know some people were able to get theirs to around like 1250 or so, but for whatever reason, I couldn't get much over 900 without it crashing. I just left it at 850 for 
the most stability. I found that to be um, just the most stable. And uh, yeah, the fan speed, um, this is up to you. I found 70 is fine. Like it's not that loud. I use this in my desktop, so it's right next to me. Um, and I can barely hear it at 70. But this, I mean, if you're not close to it, put it at like 90 or even 100, because why not, you know, prolong the lifespan of the card. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So with this setting, I have it saved here. You'll see 1125, um, 10,351 megahertz on the memory, and this will not move. That was the huge issue with the stock BIOS on the Gaming X Trio, is this would just plummet down to like 700, 900, and your mega hash would definitely not get over like 86, 87, which is pretty inefficient and bad for the 3080. But at this, all these settings here, it'll run at roughly 99 mega hash for me. Um, the guy that got it to 1250 said he got 102 mega hash. And that's all at 220 watts with this curve here and this power limit. Um, you might be able to go higher on this and maybe get more mega hash. I'll have to play around with that and see. But yeah, this is perfectly safe. I've been running for a week 24 7 um, on the Supreme X BIOS with absolutely no issues and stability. Um, it would crash and cause a blank screen where I'd have to restart once I got over 900. But all you have to do is restart it and boom, you're, you're back to normal. Um, I guess people are worried about like the power burning out the card, but this will be 220 watts. Like the, the uh, Gaming X Trio is only rated for 340 watts, but this is obviously 220, so it's fine. Um, the Supreme, I think can like, I don't know, it can get up to something crazy. Let's see, only four, okay, only 430, which like, I'm sure the Supreme X could handle it, even if for some reason it randomly gave it 430, it probably, probably won't be a problem since it's only like a 90 over. Um, yeah, and that's about it. Um, yeah, so this is the fix for now. Let me know if you have any issues with this or have any improvements for this. I would love to see those. And yeah, thanks for watching.